Uh, so in uh, previous this thing, we uh, saw the test bench. We identified the frequency using the frequency meter. So here we obtained around uh, 9.075 uh, as the uh, uh, 9.075 gigahertz as a frequency. Uh, here we could observe that slight difference is there. So uh, that is not a problem. But up to three decimal places, we'll be able to identify using this meter, frequency meter or the resonant meter. Now next one is uh, how do I obtain the attenuation? So how do I introduce the attenuation? So for that purpose, we have this attenuation block which is present over here. So in uh, this one, initially I know what is the peak to peak value which we had observed previously. Okay, uh, so which we had observed. So from uh, this value, uh, this uh, detector, we have given it to CRO. We have identified what is V input. Now what we do is we slowly using this uh, caliper. Uh, what we do is uh, we rotate it and place it at uh, one uh, point and try to see what is the value which has been uh, attenuated. So for example, every uh, five five uh, units, we can check out what is the attenuation which is happening. So every 5 units, we can uh, start off with the attenuation. So I'll, uh, what I will do is, instead of noting on for reading, you can just check out, if I just keep on changing, what happens to the overall output which is observed on the CRO. So you can see that change, uh, the amplitude output, uh, peak to peak amplitude is getting reduced. So it is getting reduced over there in the CR. So this is what is happening in here. So this is how you introduce the attenuation. So when you introduce the attenuation, you can now uh, see that see, your signal gets attenuated. So this is how you can introduce attenuation in the microwave test bench okay so now again i'll keep it back to the original position okay so that uh, so this is how we deal with attenuation okay